Okay, geometry and algebra. Here we're given this we're given this rectangle, and we're told in our rectangle that the length is three units longer than the width. So how do we write a polynomial function that represents that? First thing I would do is I would name the smaller piece, I'd name that x. So there's x. This height is three more than x, so that makes that three, I'm sorry, x plus three, doesn't it? And we're asked to write a polynomial equation that gives us the area and of course the area is the part inside of this so given your fifth and sixth grade math what's the area of a rectangle and of course the area of a rectangle so area of a rectangle is equal to base times height isn't it so all we're going to do is that we're just going to fit but fill in the blanks which is pretty straightforward so we're going to take the area of our rectangle its base is x its height is x plus 3, so x times x plus 3. We're going to use the distributive property of multiplication over addition, and we're going to do this. We are going to distribute here, so x times x, and then x times 3. So that gives us simply x times x is x squared, isn't it? And x times 3 is plus 3x. So the area of our rectangle is this. Well, could answer a lot of questions now. What if this base, what if this was 5? Well, the area of that would be 5. Would, uh, the area of that rectangle would be 5 squared plus 3 times 5, wouldn't it? 25 plus, you see my hand on just went crazy. What happened? That's awful. I apologize. Right? Is equal to 40, etc. So there's lots of questions we can answer from here. So again, this is just us putting our algebra and our geometry together. Looks like SAT stuff. Remember, every little put on the SAT goes to sending you to Harvard, which is where you belong. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, will you please subscribe? I really appreciate it. Thanks.